What's up guys and welcome to Codename Pizza's Top 5 Myths of the Week. This is the show where we feature the myths that you guys sent to us at MythBustingMondays at gmail.com. We've got 5 really, really awesome myths to show you guys that you've sent to us this week. If you do want to send anything to us for next week's episode, all you've got to do is go and record a clip and send it to us at MythBustingMondays at gmail.com. Let's aim for 2,115 likes on this video dudes, but without further ado, let's get on to the first myth. The first myth of today's show guys has been sent in by raspberry v125 and he's gonna show us if you can stop the spider boss spawning in if you activate killing time before going down into that spider boss fight so here he goes his friend is gonna pop the killing time he says that he doesn't actually have it but his friend does the killing time is now active let's go and check so the room's shaking like normal right now but here we go let's see yeah, dude, it looks like, yeah, 100% right there. The spider boss does not spawn into the map if you activate that killing time before you go down there. That's incredible. Honestly, did not know that. But there you go, dude. And I'm assuming as soon as it runs out, the spider boss will spawn in. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So wicked, dude. It's not a way of bypassing that spider boss, but it definitely gives you a chance to get down there and have all your stuff ready for him to actually spawn in. So big shout out to you, Raspberry. That is an awesome myth, dude. Let's get on to the next myth of today's show. The next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by the cool B2000. And he wants to try and find out if alchemical antithesis will work on the keepers inside of Shadows of Evil that spawn in during the rituals. Now, if you guys don't know, you don't actually get any points from the keepers except from 10 points. That's all you get. You just get 10 points when you kill them. But he wants to find out if every single bullet will get you more ammo for your alchemical antithesis, which is supposed to give you ammo every time you get points. It's a crazy but let's go and check this thing out so he's in the ritual right now let's go and see if this thing happens he's gonna pop his alchemical antithesis there we go and let's go and see let's no way it's actually working dudes even though you don't get points for every shot on a keeper it is actually going up his ammo count is going up you see he's just gone down there which is pretty unfortunate but on the first clip as soon as he did it it did go up which is pretty crazy crazy dude i honestly that's blow my mind i didn't think that would work because it's supposed to only work when you get points but it's just giving it you anyway. I don't know. But there you go, dude. So, yes, you can do this trick on Shadows of Evil. And I'm also assuming Zets Bonoshima with the Keepers. Big shout out to you, cool B2000. Thank you for sending that myth in, dude. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. The next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by the Godfather232. And he asks... What's up, Codename Pizza and the Pizza Club? I have my myth today is can you knife a thrasher to death with killing time <laughs> now the reason why i think this should work is because when you've got killing time active you can kill any zombie with just one bullet that's right even if you're on round 100 one bullet will kill a zombie so this should really kill a thrasher just by killing it with the knife right that, that's what i'm thinking right here so he's gonna be doing this right now the killing time is almost coming to an end i'm pretty excited to see what's gonna happen right now it should work it really should work but here we go it's three two one no, it just popped a spore on his front, dude. That's crazy. Maybe if he shot every single spore or knifed every single spore on that thrasher, it may have worked. But still, it should have had the same effect as it does on all the zombies on the map as well, which is really crazy. But thank you so much for that myth, dude. Let's get on to the two final crazy myths of today's show. And the next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Owen Strucat. And he says, can he get a thrasher to eat his friend whilst it's alive? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. But here we go. So he's reviving his friend right there. The thrasher is behind him. And what? The thrasher is... I can't believe that. The thrasher has eaten his friend after he's been revived. So now this guy is 100% inside that thrasher and completely alive. I want to... What's going to happen when he kills the thrasher? I don't know. Let's go and check this thing out. So he is making his way onto the stairs and killing this guy. Come on, dude. Let, let's kill him. Let's see what's going to happen right now. There you go. Oh, dude. He's, he's completely alive. And here's the POV right now of the guy actually going inside of the thrasher. So he's just been revived. And now he's inside the thrasher with a weird green glow around him. So... That, that's weird right there, dude. I don't know. That's crazy. So, yeah, dude, you can be eaten by the Thrasher when you are completely alive. That, that is weird right there. That's weird. But thank you so much, Owen. That's really, really cool, dude. I love that myth. That is honestly one of the most coolest myths I've ever seen. Big shout out to you, dude. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. The final amazing myth of today's show, dudes. 
The final myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Sir Evil Death, and he calls this one the Crawling Keepers. Now, you guys know, I was trying to bust this myth for a long time, trying to get a Crawling Keeper on Zombies, and all you guys told me that it was patched, and it was actually available to do back in the day. Well, Sir Evil Death told me that if you do it right at the exact moment, you are able to get a Crawling Keeper when they come out of their teleporting things. So let's go and see if Sir Evil Dev can actually do this on here right now for us. So here he is. He's on Shadow's Evil. He's going up to that Gobble Gum machine. And hopefully, I'm assuming he's going to get crawl space. Yep, there we go. He gets that crawl space Gobble Gum. And let's go and see if he can actually turn these into crawlers. So he's getting his gold fountain pen. He's activating the Gobble Gum. And whoa, there we go. Yes, you can still get crawling keepers if you do it at the exact right time as they come through those teleporters. That's insane. Big shout out to you, Sir Evil Death. That is really, really cool, dude. And congratulations for being the number one coolest myth of this week. If you do want to get your stuff featured on Top 5 Myths of the Week, all you've got to do is go and record a myth and send it to us at mythbustingmondays at gmail.com. But thank you so much, dudes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's aim for 2,115 likes on this video. You know how we do. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Become the latest member of the Pizza Club. And I will see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching, dudes. And peace out.